One of the areas of unwarranted variation in the NHS is in how patients who are referred to hospital by their GP or who come in through A&D are treated. Often it can take many hours, if not days, for them to be seen by the most appropriate consultant and have any diagnostic tests completed. This can mean patients, many of them elderly, spend longer in hospital than they need to. Medway Maritime Hospital, part of Medway Foundation Trust, has been tackling this by new pathways, which aim to standardize treatment for these groups of patients and ensure they receive timely treatment. Changing the way people work is never easy, but the results have been good, not only for patients, but for the trust itself. Good afternoon, I'm Dr. Sandeep Banerjee. I'm a consultant physician at uh, Medway Maritime Hospital. In the past, uh, the medical model consisted of uh, there being two flows. So a patient would come into the accident and emergency. They would be seen by the acute medical physician. Uh, thereafter, the following morning, uh, the specialist team would come and pick up patients that belong to their specialty. The feeling at the time was that this would lead to the appropriate physician seeing the patient appropriately. But what we identified was that there was multiple handover of patients because uh, it's all, all good when these patients are seen in the accident emergency, but when they go to other wards, they then are seen by other doctors. We decided that it is imperative that we develop something called as the ambulatory care unit. Uh, which is where we are standing at the minute. Uh, the role of the ambulatory care unit uh, was going to be threefold. So one was to, to review GP referrals so that patients being referred by the GP no longer have to go through the accident and emergency. They can directly come into the ambulatory assessment area and be seen by a medical doctor, which is the most appropriate doctor to see these patients. We go down to the accident and emergency and identify patients who can be brought up to this area uh, so that doctors can clock them here, thereby reducing the pressure on the accident and emergency. And the third aspect was to try and facilitate discharge of patients who are appropriate, but who might need some follow-up uh, in hospital to ensure that they are seen within 48 or 72 hours. So what we have thereby achieved is triaging patients from the accident emergency and the ambulatory assessment area into a ward which is filled with nurses, doctors, to ensure that we can proactively manage them within the first 24 hours. In the past, uh, when patients were arrived in the accident emergency, whether they were self-referred or through the GP, uh, there was one pathway, that is they would be seen by the accident emergency staff. Uh, the wait sometimes could range between four to seven hours and in some instances uh, patients would uh, be based in the accident emergency for up to 12 hours. We are trying to reduce the variation between different physicians and consultants and doctors within the system. I think the feedback that we've had initially from patients, uh, doctors and staff working within the hospital is that they feel that the variation has already reduced quite significantly. The barriers that I had to face or we had to face uh, when we tried to implement this new medical models were at several levels. Uh, obviously change is difficult. Nobody likes change. They are used to their ways of working and, and, and that was uh, one of the first major hurdles uh, that we faced. Uh, secondly, I think uh, at the time that we were told to change the model, uh, the general morale within the hospital, especially within the staff, uh, was considered to be very low. Uh, thirdly, uh, the problems that we were facing were that there was uh, several of our staff members were leaving the trust and going to adjacent hospitals uh, to manage this. We have uh, managed to improve our four-hour review within the accident emergency uh, to uh, up to 85% uh, in, the, in the last three months. Uh, we have reduced the total uh, length of time in accident emergency for patients being admitted to hospital from over 10 hours to under 7 hours uh, over the last three months. We have reduced admissions by 40% uh, over the last three months. Our zero length of stay has increased by 55% our average length of stay has reduced from 11 days to just under five days, which is where the national average lies. What this has helped us do is to actually shut down two of the medical wards. 
and, be, and allowed us to reallocate nursing staff more appropriately within the hospital.